Has this ever happened to you? Just mind your own business, zero in your part, and... Well, today I'm happy to share with you one solution that David Looms of the Tormach Operator Facebook group came up with and shared with everybody. In his post, he explains that Pathpilot in the past has not had a way to block the spindle turning on when there's been a probe in it. So he wrote a Python script, and then he goes on to explain how simple it is to install, and uh, that it also has another benefit, that if you have a USB I.O. board, then all the outputs are turned off when the user presses stop or hits the E stop. Let's install it and see what happens. Now let's walk through on the controller what it would look like to accidentally spin up a Hymer. Right now we have a blank tool holder in the spindle and we have tool number zero. Let's pretend that we installed our Hymer, which is tool number 99. Okay, let's say we're jogging around and instead of clicking step in your jog button, you accidentally click forward. That right there would have exploded your Hymer and cost you $500 definitely ruined your day, if not your week. Let's install David's program in the Pathpilot. You'll have it on your USB. Just plug in your USB. Now go to the File tab right here. First thing you're going to do is create a new folder and name that Python, all in lowercase. Click OK. Now you're going to want to double click on that folder to open it up. Now on your USB on the right, highlight your Python program and click copy. And you'll see it move that into your Python folder. Now the next thing you have to do is just restart Pathpilot. So we'll e-stop the machine, going to click exit, OK, and then we'll restart the machine. Now let's go to the status tab and you'll get confirmation that that Python program is running because right here you'll see probe slash spindle guard is running. Okay, so that program's installed. Let's try and spin up the Hymer one more time. We need to take the machine out of e-stop, reset, and then reference each axis. Our tool number is still tool number 99 for the Hymer. And uh, you know what? I trust David. Let's put a real Heimer in there and see what happens. All right, so tool number 99 is in there. The spindle guard is running. Let's go to the main screen and let's hit forward. If this works, the spindle is not gonna turn at all. It's gonna stop. But even though I know it's going to work, I still am a little apprehensive about hitting this button. So let's, let's do it. Boom. Spindle halted. Probe and spindle. No way to turn on your spindle when tool number 99 is in Pathpilot. And that is awesome. If we pop open this Python file, fortunately, it's very well commented. We can scroll down and see that a fair amount of it is just getting the code set up. But in this last section, we see monitor probe self. And the comments in that section show that if the probe is in the spindle, check for spindle start. Issue an abort if the spindle is started with a probe loaded. So all you'll have to do is update this tool number for whatever tool that you have your probe in. So I know what some of you guys are going to say, you know, that's never going to happen to me. I'm careful, but I do want to add that I myself have done this. I actually spun up this Hymer right here to 4,000 RPM. I was lucky enough to hit the e-stop on time and I didn't do any damage. But I'll tell you what, I would have definitely loved to have that program installed then. And now teaching training classes, we have four Tormox running. So you better believe I have this program on each and every one of them. Well guys, hope you liked the video and hope you learned something. And 
Maybe this will save one person a Heimer. If that's all it does, totally worth it. See you next time.